Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again with another little better future, well, majority of a better future build. <laughs> but I would like to welcome you and thank you for all coming in and seeing what we're up to. And uh, there's my, let's see if we can make some fun happen here, or a good one as I like to say. Well, I've been in here building and wandering around, breaking trees, breaking things and everything else. And well, I noticed a lot of resources sitting around and I got me thinking, I need some kind of a harvester. So I got working on some stuff and trying to incorporate as many of the things that I like into a build. And now uh, this is kind of what I come up with for my first harvester using the Better Future stuff. Still learning, figuring things out, seeing what I like. But I think this thing turned out pretty good. It handles just about anything I've thrown at it. I haven't been in a battle yet. Not with it. So we're just going to kind of try things out. But I actually forgot to set the enemies back on so we'll turn them on we'll go like that and now we got enemies that'll come in so we're all charged up and while we're waiting for an enemy to come in, we don't have a radar dang it that's one thing I forgot let's just look around here we got all our fuel down here nicely tucked away and you know what I was thinking we got our fuel, we got our rockets, there's our anchor, our bubbling. We need a radar though. Maybe what I'll do is I will take this off of there. And what radar do we want? I think that'll look good up there. Actually, no, let's go venture. Venture would look nice. If I can get it onto the spot, it'll look better. There. <coughs> I like that. So this one I was calling, actually i got to save that again, I was calling Rowdy Rambler RX1. So we'll get that saved. There, now we got an enemy. Let's go see what we can do to him. On anchor, and we're gone. So you can see we can cruise around yeah, about 70, we'll say. Not too bad. Yeah, I didn't know I had that over here. Get rid of that, so I have one less mark on the radar. Let's go see what we can get into with this one. I put the big cannons all oh, Revenge of Hydra. Where's your revenge? Not there. But I put these big ones on top mainly just for looks. Just because I like the way they are. I wanted to have uh, auto cannons up there, but I couldn't get them into the spot that I wanted. And we did put the, uh, the new plasma ri or, uh, grinders or cutters or what are they called again? The Plasma Jaws. Doesn't look much like Jaws, but that's what they're calling them. As you can see, we can walk through a lot of stuff. Oh, I think I hit that one pretty bad. Yeah, a little bit. Got my wheel flashing. We can pick up a whole whack of resources. So I'm just going to cruise around, fill up, and we'll see if we can get some more enemies to come at us. The downside is that we have to fire all the weapons just to get those plasma jaws to work. So that's one thing I hope they get figured out and fixed up. So we can have like our melee style weapons all on their own if we want. Like the weapons groupings and all that. I think that would be a really uh, big bonus for this game. If we could have like weapons groupings or hotkeys or like you know key binding I guess would be a good thing to have in there too. But from what you can probably see is this thing does handle really well. It turns good. It does do that once in a while where it kind of things explode right in its face. Oh, hit it. We're still not full though, are we? So we'll just keep wandering around. Let's see if we can go find some hills for this thing to try. There's a little hill. Let's go try that. Like, look at that. It maneuvers through just about all of it. Oh, well, that's a little tight in there. I don't think we're going to get through that too easy. Well, there. We made it. You got a little rocket power. I was not expecting that. Oh, we broke a light off. Oh, we broke both lights off. Let's pull that back on then. There, now we can see where we're going. 
Yeah, it kind of looks like I'm losing resources. So maybe it's still too fast. I was trying to keep it so they wouldn't lose resources off the sides, but yeah, they are. They're going to the back. <laughs> well, well, if it's an emergency, you, you boost out of there, you get, to get clear, and then you're all right. You don't worry about the resources. But for the most part, I think it's slow enough here where it doesn't lose them. So that's pretty good. I'm surprised there isn't more enemies yet, because I know in the last few times I've turned the enemies on, they were sending me big enemies. Ooh, there's one. And I was just in a little small one, like what was happening with the bike. Good. Now, one thing I was thinking about doing is putting a magnet on here, but then I didn't really want uh, parts being picked up, because this tech isn't really that tall. And things will get jammed up most likely, especially if you use uh, anything more than the Geocore mag or GSO magnet. Geocore magnet would be a holy crap! It bogged this little guy down. Look at that! It squeaked right in there nicely. Is he a big one? No, but he has. Oh, nailed it! He got a bubble. Piercer. You've been pierced. <laughs> now you may be wondering what's hitting so hard up front. Well, I kind of snuck a battleship cannon in there. <laughs> we got a couple avalanche and cruise missiles, more avalanche, more cruise missiles. And then we got these up here, the sonic lance. Now I know it's probably not really doing much, but like I said, I just put it up there to look kind of cool. I thought it was an idea. Now, as far as clearing out stuff, like, look at that. It just wails on everything. It does not muck around with things. <laughs> Normally, I like to have drills on the front, just so I can run through stuff without having to use weapons. Like, all my weapons. But, I didn't want to have drills hanging out on this one, so... I kind of just went with what I got. So now, anyone who's wondering if this Better Future stuff is effective and efficient and pretty damn cool, well, I think this should a help answer your, most of your questions. Now, we all we have to do is wait for those next couple updates where we get, uh, oh, gotcha, where we hopefully get some weaponry for Better Future, and hopefully we'll get some base blocks for Better Future, like the crafting blocks and stuff, and then we'll really hopefully get into some really cool stuff. Like, look at all of, all that, and all of lost is one chunk off my uh, battery uh, reservoir. I was really hoping for some uh, tougher enemies. These sumo techs coming in, they're really not that threatening. But yeah, we scoot around around 70. Well, we get to just about 90 with boost. Whoa, he dropped right in. Oh, you poor little bugger. Oh, that was pretty cool. I'm kind of thinking maybe these are doing more than I thought. I might have to make a tech that just uses them just to see what they really are worth. Like as far as power. But so far, I'm quite happy with them. Come on, enemies, where are you? Yeah, I wanted to find some mountains. I want to see how this thing does on the mountains, but <clears throat> I'm not sure. A little guy. Oh, the Hawkeye guy that died. Almost had that rhyme in pretty nice, eh? Aww. I thought there were mountains around here. Unless I'm going the wrong way. Let's see if we can find some. Go for a little bit of a drive and see what we come across. Oh, I wanted to hit the tree. Well, looks like it's getting a little rougher terrain over here. Whoop. That's not going to do you any favors, is it, buddy? Oh, hit it. Alright, well, we get into these hills, I guess. Well, uh, not even using boost or nothing. It just climbs up it like it's nothing. Like it's not even there.
I like the handling of it though. It seems to be pretty good at doing the zigzag. Getting in and out of these uh, tight little spots. Oh, almost made it. I was hoping to go right around that to go back and get that enemy. Where is he? Is he worth it? Is he a bigger one? No, he just a little guy right in there. There he is. He dead. Screw that guy. We're going this way. If I could stop hitting these rocks, I'd be doing awesome. Oh, well, that's desert. I think I went the wrong way. So there's mountains near this this spot. Oh, here's someone coming in. Pew pew buggy. That's what you did. Pew pew. And then he was gone. He bugged right out. <laughs> well, yeah, for the most part, I'm thinking this is a a finished build for what it was intended for. It should be able to pick up more than enough resources per trip. And if it needs to make multiples, well, it's quick enough to do it. Doesn't take too long. It gets up just about everything I've thrown at it. I would like to find that one of those mountainous hills and try that out, but just not sure. Ooh, there's a bigger guy. Let's take him out. Super Destroyer. You're not that super, dude. Got him. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, maybe we'll work on a bigger one at some point where we get into, oop, like, oh, nicked it. Where we get into, like, uh, the magnets and stuff, picking up blocks. But for now, I think I'm just going to make the smaller members of this little team that I'm semi-working on. Because for the most part, you know, you need the small units and then you need the bigger ones. Why do you keep sending these tiny little guys? Jeez. Well, there goes his, his blade and his plow. See, we can just rush right through everything. So far, so good. No stopping us now. Oh, I spoke too soon. We're stuck. That sucks. Why are those... Oh, it's just on top of them. There we go. The recoil on those weapons does help. <laughs> oh, we're back at desert. What was it, over this way? A little bit of air there. Little jumps. Oh, there's the mountains. Right on. That's what I was after. Rock. Oh, I broke it at it. Knocked my wheel off. Did it break? Yep, snapped it good. Put that back on before we get over there. We might not do as good as we should. Like that. Need one of these back on there just for aesthetics. Like that. And put this back on there. Now the front end of it, I didn't really want to leave it open with the black showing, but, oh, there's rocks right there. Ooh, someone coming. Ooh, he's a big one, too. Oh, wow. He went down like a champ. I didn't think he was going to blow up that quick. There. Like, right there. Those front wheels are working great. A little rocket power to get up. Uh oh, we're flying. Sorta. Of. We gonna do the backflip? Oh, landed it. Just give her little shots, maybe. <laughs> we won't be getting doing flips. There. Yeah, I always like to have rockets just in case. Man, I wish those were more visible. I got my headlights in the wrong spot or something. Well, yeah, she's handling it real nice. As good as I expected. A little better, even. I was going to put hovers on it just to give it a little more uh, flotation, if you will, but yeah, I didn't really want to do hovers. Not on this one. I'm going to make a flyer at, or a hover tech for this at some point. I'm going to I'll save my uh, creativity with the hovers for that, I think. Like, look at that. Just walks over it all. Wasn't even using boost on that one. 
I'll use some boost here just to get up though. Oh, he turtled himself. Oh, got you a little bit. Oh, it's getting ugly in there. He's taking parts off me. Get him. There we are. Oh, maybe he didn't take parts off me. <laughs> Sucks to be you, dude. Sorry about your luck. But yeah, for the most part, I think that's pretty dang good. And what we should maybe do is, if you're interested and you want to keep watching for another minute or so. Whoa. Oh, he's a bigger one. Uh, oh, I thought he hid behind the hill, but we smoked him. Still alive, though. Big bully. Don't like bullies. Oh, he did get a little bit of us. Something did, anyway. Let's just check her out, see what we got. As you can see, we got our, our uh, collectors in there. Our cab away at the back. I was going to use the Better Future cab, but it just it didn't really work for what I wanted. It would have got in the way of the missiles, and I didn't make it an even number wide, so it would have been off-center. Just didn't want to do that. <coughs> so I didn't. Pretty good idea, eh? Not doing stuff you don't want to do. That you don't have to do either, so, yeah. Let's kind of do there. Tear that out. And we got our gauges, our solar panels, some more battery and stuff in there. And we even we don't need that. And if we can get this stuff out of the way, I didn't really want to anchor that. You can see that we have the larger ion drives in there. Or well, the medium ion drives. So yeah, it worked out pretty good. A whole row of batteries too. Hawkeye batteries, so that should keep us going good. And from there, we got our fuel as I showed you earlier. Bunch of rockets. Well, I guess we only have four rockets, not quite a bunch, but it's enough to make it good, I think. And the nice thing with those larger ones here is they still have the attach points on the side. So that's pretty handy. It allowed me to just put these right on top. Now, their placement may be part of the reason why it, it uh, drives the way it does. Because it'll pro it should pull them down. Like the nose down is what I was hoping. And it seems to for the most part. But well, that's pretty much all that's in this. And then just a bunch of rounded blocks that I uh, went through and figured out how I liked them. But the one thing that I found was really a nice addition to was this second row of wheels here. <laughs> and I staggered them in a way so hopefully these wheels would be in the gap of these wheels. So I won't get stuck as much. Or at least that's what I was hoping for. And so far I think it's worked out pretty good. Because the only time it's really got stuck or slowed down was on a hill that was just too steep. Or, um, and then I just need rockets to get up it. But as you can see, like, oh, except for this back one, it's a little off. But it's still a little in there. But, like, that was, this one here is perfect the way I wanted it. Up here is a little off, too. So it's one of those things if I had to use less wheels I could have positioned them perfectly but I didn't want to so I didn't but yeah all in all that's what we got for our uh, our um, our harvester or collector tech and I ripped him apart and let's see if we can still de defeat something oh yes we can got him nice so yeah I'm liking that what do we got over there? I got something anchored that I didn't want anchored, didn't I? What is it? Oh, the AI thing. Yeah, we better just put that back on there for now. I think what we'll do is we'll just head back over to our other spot there. And we're going to put this one in our little collection. Oh, landed hard on the back end of it. What is, are those? 
Well, those are the better future blocks. The new corporation they added. Are you in, uh, game? Creative. So I was thinking if I get back over there, I'll park him and then maybe we'll get to work on something else. I'm not sure yet. It's been a work in progress for a little while now. I'm trying to get this little crew made up. But look at all these trees growing right back in around everything. I'm not liking that. So we'll go ahead and we'll swap it out. We'll get a, a fully fixed one here. Anchor it. So, so far we got our, our race scout truck kind of thing. We got our battle bike. And we got our... Oh, uh, what the heck did I call this thing again? Let's do this. Rowdy Rambler. Our harvester. So now all we need is... I think maybe let's just wing it. We'll see what we get into. So as always, if you did enjoy what you saw, maybe you got some suggestions and all that, I hope you find your way to throwing a like down below. Put some comments down underneath that. And always, if you share with a friend, it's always a good feeling, I think. But other than that, if you'd like to stay, keep up to date with what we got going on here, just subscribe and ding that bell and you will be there. But up until that next time, just keep being that awesome. Keep having a good one. Bye.